I'm talking about Chelsea Football Club, <laughs> some, a club who pretends to be the best in, in England. So I'm, I'm, I love that club, so I, 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 I ask for more from that yeah, club. But... That's the only thing I say. <laughs> But you can only you can only talk about what you see and what the performance is. And on that performance, there was not a flaw. There was not a flaw in that performance. And so you have to give credit where it's due. We're we're very good when when teams are not at their best and are not playing well. We're we're very quick to jump on them. So when they're absolutely flawless, then we should give them praise. That's why I'm giving them the praise I did, Frank. Um, just focusing on the earlier game, Manchester City with a 1-0 victory over Sheffield United. Craig, is it simple to say that if City had an out-and-out -out striker, they'd be winning these games more convincingly? Well, you'd like to hope so, but uh, that's the only sort of criticism you could throw at them because they completely dominated the game, particularly in the first half. There was a couple of hairy moments in the second half, but you know the only thing is they're not killing, absolutely smashing teams like they were. And that's always going to give you a chance at the other end. But, I mean, some of the play, again, was uh, fantastic. Sheffield United, again, had touched on a, a team that have really struggled at the start of the season. Everything they did well last season, they're struggling to do this year. You know, the, their best players last year in Lundstrom and Norwood and Fleck was injured, but they're out the side. And so they just didn't give City the test that, that maybe they would have done, you know, eight months or so ago. But, but yeah, you need you need the strikers back in. Ferran Torres is doing a good job, but he's a wide player. He's a young guy. But once again, I mean, apart from the final third, Sonny Sterling's play was fantastic. He's just lost that, mm. you know, that little sprinkling of, of magic in, in, in the box. But no, it was, a, apart from the goals, it was a pretty good performance from City, I thought. Frank, can you talk about this without mentioning Chelsea? <laughs> 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 well, you know, um, I enjoyed the first, the first half of Manchester City. I think they, they dominated the game and they should uh, really... Um, willing of doing great and then finishing the game and, se and second half when they started second half you know i didn't recognize the team and uh, if we talk about sterling you know we, lo we lost him a little bit and um, and it was a time for me for a big nap because i was falling asleep watching the boring manchester city that i see from the beginning of the season yeah. so 45 minutes i, I, had, I was really enjoying the chelsea city. game did it not <laughs> No, no, it didn't because it was too late. It was too late for the night. It was like 2, p 2 p.m. for me and it was the City game, you know, that, that I was very aware and awake for the C Chelsea game. But I enjoyed the first half. I didn't the second half. I think, they, well, like all big teams, we are looking for more consistency. That's the thing of the weekend so far for Saturday. Ruben Diaz and Laporte at the back. Stevie weren't really tested, but a clean sheet nonetheless. Yeah. Yeah, you can't you can't deny that. Um, but you said it; they weren't tested. So, listen, we need to we need to see them together in a string of games and keep clean sheets and not make mistakes and be decisive. Uh, so, I think it's it's a little early to talk about the partnership because, uh, as you said today, I, it just wasn't tested. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.